um, till now um, we have made the link between partition function and various thermodynamic quantity of a n particle quantum system and the approach uh, was uh, mainly led by Boltzmann and that approach is called the uh, Boltzmann statistics. So what we have seen so far is also called Boltzmann statistics. where Boltzmann um, based on the distribution of the particles across the energy state in a um, quantum system um, define the partition function and from that partition function we made link of various thermodynamic quantities. Now uh, what are the problems, what are the drawbacks of uh, the Boltzmann statistics? Number one drawback is um, Boltzmann considered that particles are non-interacting and therefore total energy of the system he could write as sum over ni epsilon i that is total energy of the system is sum of the energy of the uh, of the particles uh, of the individual particles and these particles are non-interacting. And therefore, Boltzmann statistics is applicable only for ideal gas systems. Where the interparticle interactions are uh, very few. But if you consider um, a system let us say uh, 1 liter of water or, or an um, electrolyte solution so here not only we have the interparticle interactions but also the fact that um, the degeneracy of the lowest energy state alone uh, is 10 to the power n where n is total number of particles. So when you have a, a liquid system or when you come to a more complex biological system so their number of um, energy states to be considered is enormous 10 to the power n is just a degeneracy of the lowest energy state and therefore the Boltzmann statistics um, will not be appropriate to apply. So at that point we, uh, we follow another approach which is called the, uh, the modern or, or post quantum Uh, post quantum um, approach which is called the ensemble approach and this ensemble approach was um, was uh, proposed by Maxwell Bojman and particularly by Gibbs. So, post quantum approach of statistical thermodynamics is, is called the ensemble approach proposed by Maxwell, Boltzmann and Gibbs. So, according to the ensemble approach, um, now we need not uh, look at the quantum states for a liquid system or for a bimolecular system uh, there are so many uh, quantum states um, that instead of looking at them we can look at the distribution of the particles uh, at different um, 
time point. So let's see what is ensemble or what do you mean by ensemble. So let's say that this is my uh, box and uh, I have n number of particles in that and the this box is having a volume of V and the temperature of the system is in Vt. So here my particles n number of particles are distributed in certain ways and this gives me the energy of the system is E1. I can have the same system with same number of particles, same volume, same temperature, but now the particles distributed little differently. Here energy of the system would be E2. Here could be another instance where number of particles are same, volume is same, the temperature is same, but the particles are distributed again differently. Here energy could be E3. So here number of particles are fixed but the heat can flow and since heat can flow the energy of the system um, can vary. And why the energy uh, of the system is varying is because the inter-particle interactions are different because the particles are distributed differently. So you can have different such states and the collection of these microstates. So here each of them are the microstates. So these are the different microstates where um, they differ microscopically. Here the microscopic difference is the particle arrangements are, are the arrangement of the particles are different. So this is ensemble where we have lot many microstates which are different microscopically in the distribution of particles are different but macroscopically they are same. So when I say macroscopically, so all the microstates have same number of particles, all of them do have same number, same volume, all of them do have same temperature. So in this ensemble, all the microstates have same NVT, uh, the same uh, uh, thermodynamic quantities, but microscopically uh, they are different from that distribution of the particles. So the definition of ensemble uh, I'll make more clear by taking um, a more relevant uh, example of this course, uh, which is uh, uh, which relates to a biomolecule. Let's say uh, I have a protein, and I am putting that protein uh, in a box, and let's say the protein, uh, a small polypeptide. Let's say the polypeptide was in an unfolded state here and I see the protein in a different time instant and I see the evolution of the peptide is like this. So, so everywhere my um, uh, total number of particles in the box, volume and temperature all I am keeping fixed. All, sorry, all boxes do have same NVT. So here particle is like this. Never mind uh, my drawing, the boxes may not look um, the same, but assume that all my boxes are of exactly the same dimension and I have the same NVT. It's just that um, uh, it just the polypeptide is changing its conformation.
so this goes on so I can have many such states I can have many such states many of them and each of this drawing is basically signifying uh, a microstate of this polypeptide so I can have many such microstates and this collection this collection of system is called the ensemble so what is ensemble so I can define ensemble is it is a, a collection of systems which are macroscopically same which are macroscopically same so here all of them do have same macroscopic quantities NVT 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 so all of them have the same NVT number of particles volume and temperature are fixed so a collection of systems which are macroscopically same but microscopically different is called an ensemble a collection of systems which are microscopically same but microscopically different is called an ensemble So here microscopically they, they differ in the conformation of the protein. So you see here the polypeptide was unfolded here it is um, you know half folded and so here it is it, it is it is kind of going through various uh, metastable states and if we say this is the, uh, the folded state so it is reaching to the folded state at various time points. Yeah, so here is a folded state here is a folded state here also here here and here so the polypeptide is basically undergoing through different conformations uh, and uh, from unfolded to folded and from folded it can go back again to the unfolded states so if you look at it so they're uh, differing uh, not in their uh, quantum energy states but they are differing in their conformation so this conformation we can represent by Ri and Pi. So where Ri is basically the uh, coordinates of each uh, atom constituting constituting the uh, polypeptide, and Pi is the uh, momentum uh, mass into velocity of each atom uh, in the polypeptide. So basically. Uh, this set of Ri and Pi they define the different conformation in the whole ensemble. So uh, what we need to get is basically the um, if you want to now if you want to uh, compare our um, statistical thermodynamic uh, quantities with the, um, the classical thermodynamic quantity what you have to do we have to basically take an average over all these ensembles we have to take an average over all these microstates and then uh, the average uh, quantity of, uh, of of that of all the microstates will give us the thermodynamic property